Hi, Jen Berkelman's here, Soul Alignment Coach to Sensitive Souls and Empaths. And today I wanted to talk about how burnout, the burnout cycle, can really feel like a prison of our own making. Because what can often happen is you see this cycle within yourself, maybe how you get energized, but then you commit to all these things and then you burn yourself out again and you just go into this cycle and you see these things that you know could maybe help you, help your energy, help you to feel better, whether that's certain you know, parts of self-care, going to sleep at a certain time, um, eating more nutritious foods, uh, activity level, that kind of thing. And you see these things, but yet you can't stay consistent with them. And you try, but nothing sticks. And then you just keep going in this, this cycle. And so it can feel like you're in like this prison of your own making because you feel stuck, you feel exhausted, you feel fed up, uh, and you've had enough. And so what I see is there are the, the things that people tend to focus on on our surface level. So they try to change their actions you know, implement self-care. They tried to change things in their relationships, communications, putting up boundaries, all of which are important and beneficial and supportive to breaking out of the burnout cycle. However, they are more surface level. And what I mean by that is there are these layers that are underneath those. And you can think of them as like the foundations of a house. If you were building a house, you wouldn't build the walls in the house on sand or dirt because it would just collapse. You need a solid foundation. And so there's these layers that exist beneath the actions, beneath the boundaries, beneath these things that you're changing on the surface level that impact those surface levels, impact your ability to follow through on them, to commit to them, to stay consistent in them. And it's these foundational layers that need to be addressed. Uh, things like uh, emotional resiliency, things like uh, your energetic alignment, things like building a strong relationship and self-connection to yourself. And so if these things aren't created, if you don't have your foundation in your walls, it's really hard to build that roof without it just falling all over the place and being a wonky house, <laughs> a wobbly house, um, or a collapsed house. Um, so then what happens is we keep trying to build this house on a, a foundation of dirt and it keeps collapsing and we get frustrated when it's nothing that you're doing wrong. Those things aren't bad. Those are good. It's just they're in the wrong order. You need to build your foundation first. And once you build your foundation, then everything is going to be much more solid. And the other thing to consider is the reason that a lot of people don't do this is because building the foundation takes time. It's a lot longer and takes a lot longer to build the foundations of a house than it does to build the roof. In fact, once you build the foundation in an actual building construction way, the walls and the, the rest gets built quite quickly. But with the foundation, you have to dig, right? You have to remove rocks. You have to build an even um, space. You have to level everything out and you have to pour the concrete and build the foundation. And that takes time, it takes work, and that can be applied to us as well. And breaking the, the burnout cycle is you have the, build, the building of the foundation and working through those other levels takes a bit more time. But once you build that foundation, you have that solid level. So when you start to build the walls and the roof, when you start to make those changes, like your boundaries and your... Um, changing your actions, like the self-nourishment and self-care, it's much easier to follow through and to stay consistent. And they will naturally do so because you already have the foundation. Uh, I just want to say thank you for watching. Please share this if, if you know of anyone who might benefit or tag them here. Um, or um, yeah, share it with someone who you think would benefit. And um, if you really love these videos, you can subscribe and hit the little bell, which will let you know of notifications. And I just want to say that I appreciate you and much love.